Hello, my name is Lars Samuelsson, and in this presentation, I want to talk about the exhibit New Topographics Photographs of a Man Altered Landscape. New Topographics Photographs of a Man Altered Landscape was an exhibit that epitomized a key moment in American landscape photography. The show was curated by William Jenkins at the International Museum of Photography at the George Eastman House in Rochester, New York in January 1975. For new topographics, the curator William Jenkins selected eight then young American photographers Robert Adams, Louis Baltz, Joe Deal, Frank Golke, Nicholas Nixon, John Scott, Stephen Shore, and Henry Wessel. He also invited the German couple Bernd and Hilla Becker, then teaching at the Kunstakademie Düsseldorf in Germany. Since the late 1950s, they had been photographing various obsolete structures, mainly post-industrial carcass carcasses or carcasses to be in Europe and America. The pictures were stripped of any artistic frills and reduced to an essentially topographic state, conveying substantial amounts of visual information, but eschewing entirely the aspects of beauty, emotion, and opinion. Rigorous purity, deadpan humor, and a casual disregard for the importance of the images. The new topographic photographers were not concerned with showing an ideal view of nature as practiced by Ansel Adams, but rather looked at how the landscape had been altered by human beings. The exhibition had a ripple effect on the whole medium and genre, not only in the USA, but in Europe too, where generations of landscape photographers emulated and are still emulating the spirit and aesthetics of the exhibit. Since 1975, new topographics photographers such as Robert Adams, Louis Baltz, Bernard Hilla Becker, Frank Olke, and Stephen Shore have influenced photographic practices regarding landscape around the world. Technically, half the photographers were working with an 8x10 large format view camera. Those who were not were using either square medium format, like Joe Deal and Goki, or in the case of Louis Baltz, 35mm technical pan, a slow and high definition Kodak film that the photographer printed on an 8x10 paper. Only Schott and Wessel were using regular 35mm cameras and film. A notable element of the show was that the artists were or would be linked with higher education as students, professors, or both. A change from the preceding generations. The shift from craft or self-teaching to academia had somewhat been started by photographers such as Ansel Adams and Minor White, but the new generation was turning away from the approach of these forebears. This was illustrated by the subject matter that the new topographics chose, as well as their commitment to casting a somewhat ironic or critical eye on what American society had become. They all depicted urban or suburban realities on the changes in an allegedly detached approach. In most cases, they gradually revealed themselves as coming from a rather critical vantage point, especially Adams, Baltz, and Deal. <laughs> 